Things are not always what they seem to be and what you hoped for. I'm looking for a way to make my loop components in my team's channels a bit more visible. It's a brand new feature, so I don't expect a lot out of it, but it's great that now I can go to a channel, I can add a component, and uh, the component file sits in the team's channel in the files area. Cool. They're all available there and shared with uh, people in the team, uh, including guests. But um, I'm also trying to find a way to uh, make it easier so it's not drifting up and down with conversations. Now, we've had loop, uh, loop components in Teams chats for ever since we've had loop available. And the trouble with that is that as you continue to add to the conversation, group chats, it'll drift. And you either have to pin it somewhere or find some way of bringing it back maybe copying the link and dropping it back into the conversation. Loops and channels for conversations are a little better, actually. Um, here's an example of a channel where we're using loop components to uh, try and share what we're working on. And so here, for example, I'm responding, I'm going to respond to Laura's conversation here. She has posted a, a loop component, and I'm going to say, uh, great work. All right, so let's have a look at Laura's experience of that. If we go back over to here, she's responded, or I've responded. Just jump in, just refresh the channel, just as if as if we were um, visiting it for the first time uh, today. I've set the channels so that my conversations are appearing at the top. Uh, you may have a different preference, um, but the same goes. If I have added something to a conversation thread, then it's going to get bumped to the top or the bottom, depending on what your preference is. And so Laura is seeing this as her most active, most recently active conversation. Uh, so my point here is that loop is part of that first post, and that as someone replies to it, then it bumps that conversation up to the top, or most recent conversation, the loop is there so we can uh, contribute to it. So that can be quite a useful thing in the way that we work with teams. Uh, if we have a loop that we want people to contribute to and we want it to stay top of mind. But there's got to be a better way. We've got tabs in channels. And how do we bring uh, something into our team so that we can... Uh, you know, keep an eye on it, contribute to it, always find it easy to to open up. And so one way to do this, of course, is to add it as a channel. Now, or rather as a tab. <laughs> what I uh, tried to do with this experience, I, I was thinking, first of all, hey, I know that loop components are supported in Word documents. Why don't I try that? So in this channel, I created a Word document. And in that Word document... I attempted to copy a component to a loop and paste it in here. Uh, what I found was that that loop uh, is not displaying in Word within Teams. So this is the Word web app, but it's as a Teams app. And that's how it would display if I add it as a tab. Uh, let's actually do that. We'll go back to our team. Go back to our channel and we'll pin this as a tab so it is still using word online it's still trying to make use of of that capability but it is still doing it within teams and so there must be some limitations there that that the loop components capability has not caught up with yet because what i'm seeing is a a screenshot almost like a placeholder to say this is a loop component it could work <laughs> it could work maybe it will work eventually if we go into files and just open this up as a as a uh, web uh, in the browser so this is the full word online application we know and i've done this moments earlier all right uh, that the loop component does display in Word Online, it is supported there. So it looks like this method's not quite ready for sharing a loop component and adding it as a tab. You know, I mean, think 
think about it really. What we really want, let's go back to, to me, uh, is to be able to go to the tab and find loop component and add it as a tab so it just sits there. I'm sure it will come in the future. But uh, what's my other workaround? Well, I did try adding a whiteboard. Uh, and you can do that. You can add a whiteboard to a team. Lo and behold, let's uh, create a brand new whiteboard. Brand new whiteboard. Amazing. Here's something that I don't think I've realized yet. Um, where does this whiteboard live? Where do you think it lives? Do you think it lives in the team files? Well, let's take a look where I would expect to find it. This is quite separate from loop, but it's an interesting discovery. I go into files tab. It's not there. Mm, okay. Where else could it be? Maybe it's, uh, you know, a bit, bit further up in the uh, SharePoint space that it's not actually in the channel, but we know that in OneDrive we have a folder for whiteboards. And so maybe there's a folder further up in the document library for apps. Maybe it's called whiteboards. Nope. Guess where it is. Guess. That's right. It's in my OneDrive. Um, not great. Uh, let's jump into here. Brand new whiteboard. There it is. Right. I am the person who created the whiteboard for my team. And that whiteboard is uh, sitting in my OneDrive. Teams, you can do better. Whiteboard, I'm sure you're going to bug teams about this. Um, end of side conversation. Oh, nice. Side conversation. Anyway, bad dad joke. Continuing with my possible workaround. So let's say that this, this, uh, this document... Oh, look. Let's just make it a bit easier. I'm going to move this over to the correct team. So this is my workaround to put the whiteboard file where it should be. Uh, Project Radio? It was Project Radio. And I've forgotten where I was working from. This happens. Oh, MWM, what I'm working on. Okay, let's go back to that. MWM, what I'm working on. Let's move the file there. So you can at least do this with whiteboards. You can move them and then still use them as whiteboard files. And now the file is owned by the team. This is where it should be if I'm adding a whiteboard tab to a team. But uh, let's go back to our team and uh, yeah, just kind of prove that. Here it is. All right, so whiteboard. Whiteboard still works. Owned by the team. I've got an option to add content to it, but I'm not going to yet. Um, well, okay, let's just do that anyway, just to prove that it is working. Working. Okay. Now, follow me on this thinking. If I can add a whiteboard as a tab, so let's do that, brand new whiteboard. I can. All right. All right, <laughs> not quite. So again, we're looking at a, a missing piece of the puzzle here. Um, when I add a whiteboard to a team tab, uh, I can I can add that there. Brand new whiteboard, brand new whiteboard. Okay, well, may, maybe. I want to see if this works. We still ha we actually have it as a tab right here. Uh, is this going to work, or is it pointing to the OneDrive, which uh, no longer works? Yeah, I expected that. So, uh, not there anymore. Let's remove that. But can we? I don't think we can. Add pin to top, move copy. No, okay. So again, missing piece of the puzzle. <laughs> Back to something that I prepared earlier, so I didn't have to go through that again. I created a whiteboard. I've left it in my uh, OneDrive. And what I'm trying to do with the loop component is copy and paste it into the whiteboard. So let's do that. We'll go to, let's say it was this component. And 
we know that that is available for the team. Let's go into, oh, it's interesting, it's added the brand new whiteboard tab back. What's going on here? Uh, let's go back to our, our whiteboard that we actually want to use and paste. Okay, so we have a way to bring a component into a team and into a tab on the channel. Um, I've left a wake of things that don't quite work well uh, in my commentary and in my exploration, but things that I would expect to work in a certain way. Let's just recap. Um, I would expect that if I can add a, a Word document to a tab and loop components are supported in Word Online, that it would work, but it doesn't. Uh, and the benefit of taking that Word document is that it is sitting in our team and it's, it's possible to work and use that. Okay. What about um, this other workaround, whiteboards? So I would expect to be able to go to a tab, say I'm adding a whiteboard, and I would want that whiteboard file to be in the team. Not in my OneDrive, I know I'm the person creating it, but the context is I'm in my team. So that's where I expect to see it. Um, but it doesn't. When I move that whiteboard file over from my OneDrive, I expect to be able to add it as a tab. So I know I can use it as a whiteboard file. It's shared with the team. Great. But how do I make it more visible? I want to be able to add as a tab and... Sometimes I, I look over these things in the middle of a demo and I, I overlook stuff, but I, I, again, I'm looking. I don't see any option here to do that. Not like here where I can say make this a tab. That's what I'd like to do with whiteboard. And yeah, now I've got the component available. This last bit is interesting. Uh, in whiteboard, we don't yet have a way, it would seem, to... Uh, to say, this is my start in view. I want the board to open up, focused on these items, this view. Uh, we can do that in other whiteboard applications like Miro, but, but not in Microsoft Whiteboard. So what I would want to do is have the board centered on the component so that it opens up, it's there, we can use it in the whiteboard, we can contribute to it as team members, and... Um, uh, my view and, and focus starts there because it's nice and centered. But uh, as you saw, we'll go back away from the tab, into the tab. For some reason, it brings the component down to the bottom right corner. Um, what is this video? <laughs> it's a mishmash of stuff that I'm exploring to try and achieve a goal with loop with Teams, with Whiteboard, uh, with Word Online, and things are just not quite measuring up yet. So perhaps this is a feedback video. Perhaps this is just a side conversation with Microsoft to say, hey, th these are great things that we're seeing here. How about we, you know, change it up a bit so that it behaves the way that we expect it to? Popping files into a team when we're creating a Whiteboard. Um, being able to support loop components in Word Online when it has been used inside of Teams. Stuff like that. Anyway, enough of that. This is long enough. And uh, have we really come up with an answer? In true Daryl as a service fashion, we have figured some stuff out. We've also found some additional problems. And uh, you've come to this video thinking, ha ha, yes, we've found an answer. Let's, let's get the quick five steps and we'll have the answer within two minutes. Ha ha, <laughs> that's not how I roll. <laughs> anyway, um, maybe maybe we'll see uh, this develop over time. I do hope so. But thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for your support this year in 2023. See you in 2024. Maybe I'll make another video before Christmas, before the end of the year, but I hope to take a couple of weeks off. So um, see you. Thank you for your support. And uh, yeah, bye for now.